hey guys welcome to another tutorial today we're going to do reverse led blinking if you're new here then we are doing a embedded system course and possibly extended to internet of things this would be our third programming section where we are going to learn the reverse led blinking in last section we did a color circle now we are going to do exactly the opposite of what we did in our last tutorial but with the addition of delay so that we can really differentiate between the color flow okay so head over to your online compiler create a new project I would name this as reverse LED blinking by Alex this kind of routine you know <laughs> so click OK as you can see a message which says a new ID section has been opened with your account actually I missed my class for recording these videos because I didn't feel it was useful to attend those classes anymore anyway so one of my group mate must be using this compiler I'm going to refresh this tree it means that my compiler will work so go to main.cpp this is where we write our program delete this out basic step is to include embed.h don't wait for me to tell you that Next line is defining our pins because we want our hardware to work with our software. So we will use the bus out which we did in our last section as well. B is capital and O is capital. Then give a variable which you want. Then give a variable which you want. We can go with RGB but for the namesake let's go with ABC. It will still work okay. Open round brackets and in there you need to define your pin name. So it will be PTB18 which is for red ptb19 for blue ptd1 for green i remember it i have been using the embedded board then a semicolon next line int main round brackets open curly brackets i always do it from the start so that you guys will do it from the start instead of copy pasting because what it happens is it kind of give you the practice and after repeating it so many times you usually get hanged to it that you won't even forget the steps anymore next is to include while one which is an infinite loop the thing i'm writing is called comments you, you can do it with a double slash and after a while we need to open our curly brackets again and we write our program in it right over here our first operation should be off then the LED should wait and then it should go to white then it should wait then it should go to magenta wait cyan wait yellow wait blue wait green wait red that would be the sequence which is of white magenta cyan blue green and red and in between them there should be a wait operation so that we can actually see the blinking of the LED a quick revision from the last section that the computer understands the hexadecimal values which is zero where whenever a number starts with zero into some number it is a hexadecimal form although it understands binary ones and zeros but we need to use hexadecimal for this it would be easy for us to do so and in hexadecimal over here it is in the reverse polarity so instead of adding your zero to the msb you need to add it to the lsb and you have to follow the binary to hexadecimal conversion to get these values as we already did it in our last section i'm not going to repeat it you can definitely go and follow that meanwhile our first operation is to be off so it will be instead of rgb it will be abc because that's what we gave the name okay so it will be abc a will be red b will be blue oh coincidence right and c will be green okay so for off the value is 0 into 7 4 into if you still haven't figured out then it is a x there is no into sign on the keyboard so you can use the x okay so what this will do is it will turn it will turn all leds off next operation is to wait for one whole second instead of 0.5 second as we did in the last because what was happening is the led kept blinking to the next color without waiting so there was not actually a blinking it was just a sequence of colors hence the name color circle right over here we are going to blink so we have to put in a wait of delay 
our next step is to next step is actually to make the led off again even though this is an operation of off but that is the first step to do right so after that we need the led to be off even though it is off you won't understand right now what i'm trying to say but as we go ahead you can already guess from what it is so then wait for one Our next color is white for white ABC is equal to 0 into 0 then it waits this would be your default idea of how to do now you see now you will understand what I was trying to tell you guys that now that we have given out white right over here we want our LED to glow off so that it looks like it is blinking so now the operation of off will come again now you can see why we included two offs even though this was an off operation already but this was the step that we required and then we needed a off by default anyhow so this is the white and here it should be a default value of white next color is magenta which is 0 into 2 wait one then the off operation then wait for one second then is sign which is zero into one wait off wait then is yellow which is 0 into 4 wait off instead of copy pasting I'm typing because it will give me a good practice even though it seems silly but practice makes a man perfect next one is blue which is 0 into 3 then wait for one second then the LED goes off which is 0 0.7 by doing this I already understand all the values by heart because that's how many times I've already done it so wait and then ABC is equal to 0 into 5 for oh AB is in 0 into 5 which is the value for green LED and then wait for one second and then ABC goes to off which is 0 0.7 and then wait one and then ABC goes into 0 into 6 which is red LED and then it waits for one second goes to off again into 0 0.7 and then waits for one second again that's it what else <laughs> save so this would be the entire program just a quick recap this is the include header file which you already know bus out is an api which uses a combination of all the inputs so that we don't have to give a single input to each pin namely abc is a variable you can call it as an object which you can name it out anything instead of rgb i gave it the name abc just to make you understand that you can name it anything but you need to use that in your program then these are the pin steps ptb18 stands for red ptb19 stands for blue ptd1 stands for green in embedded freedom board kl25c okay then we start our int main we start our curly brackets where we write the program while one loop is used so that it is an infinite loop what this while one loop does is all the program runs and it doesn't stop it will start again from the start to the end it will go in a loop from start to end start to end and start to end our next step is to open our curly brackets again for writing the program in the while one loop 
then comes the first operation which is to turn off the led then comes an operation to off the led even though this is off we are give, blinking it out next thing was to glow the white led and then we include an off the led will switch off and then it will go to magenta and then it will switch off it will go to cyan and then it will switch off it will go to oh our i haven't wrote here it should be yellow okay and then it will go off wait one number one actually indicates literally the number of seconds for writing in milliseconds there is another operation which i will tell you guys later so this is literally an off operation this means the pin goes off this means it waits for one second before showing the other output then we go to blue off green off red led it goes off and then again because of the while operation that we gave right over here this loop will start again this is off this will be off this will go to white and the loop goes on and on because of this while infinite loop okay now that you understood the program i asked you guys to save do that and do the compile the compile output for program in reverse led shows success show in folder copy this and paste it in the drive that pops up when you attach your embedded system hardware paste and this is the final output that you can see it is off off white off magenta off cyan off yellow off blue off green off red off You can now if you want to go in a straight line that is red green blue yellow sign magenta white and then off you can just reverse out the values that is you need to just first place in the red value then off then the green value then the blue yellow sign magenta white in that way that's it for this tutorial if you guys have any queries the links are in the description you can reach out to me if you are new here make sure you subscribe i'll see you guys in the next tutorial that's it for now